Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandival, and welcome to this session um, where I'll be talking about the new su super speciality pattern and how to prepare and what initiatives is Marrow taking to help you out during this phase. Now, I know it was a shocker for everyone when the prospectus was released uh, a few days back. And rather than a more progressive model, which was focusing on uh, more super speciality content, they've got to the old model, which was in 2017, where they have uh, given more focus to general surgery. Now, uh, it is uh, particularly discomforting for those who were preparing for subspecialty based exams uh, for the last uh, year or two years. But it's also an opportunity for freshers uh, because they will be fresh out of uh, their post graduation and they, they will be well versed with the general surgical aspects. And it's a good opportunity for those students. So before I talk about the preparation and how to go about it, just um, briefly going over what important changes were there. So the exam uh, is uh, scheduled to be held on 13th and 14th November. And these are the dates when you can fill out the forms and you can edit your forms. Uh, so this exam includes all the institutes barring the central institutes, that is AIMS, PGI, JIPMER, NIMHANS, and Sri, Sri Chitra. So, uh, you know, especially those who would be preparing for the last two or three years, you people need to take a very strong decision regarding your preparation, whether you keep on preparing for the central institute exams, and this should be your focus, or whether you want to change course and you want to focus more on the NEET exam. I guess for freshers who are just out of MS, it is uh, a good opportunity in NEET and you should uh, strengthen your general surgical concepts in the next two months and try for NEET. So the eligibility criteria is anyone who is passing their post-graduation by 30th November 2021 will be applicable to give the exam this year. Now, this is the major change. They have made the primary feeder specialty. So there are 13 primary feeder specialties. And if we talk about surgeries, so general surgery is one of those uh, primary feeder specialties. So in the surgical group, and my discussion will be predominantly regarding surgery, uh, medicine, of course, you can reach out to Dr. Rakesh uh, and his team and they'll be happy to help you out. I will primarily be focusing on uh, surgery today. So the surgical group, uh, the feeder specialty is MS or DNB general surgery. And these are the 12 subspecialties which will get covered under general surgery. So if you get a rank, you can choose any one of these 12 specialties. The question paper, and this is the major change, the question paper will be 150 questions of for two and a half hours duration, and they will predominantly be from the primary feeder specialty. So for surgical candidates, it is going to be general surgery oriented. Now, not all questions will be general surgery oriented. There will be questions from subspecialties, but my hunch is that they will not be so difficult as they are asked in the subspecialty exam. I guess one question which all of you should ask yourself, and this is what I asked the other surgical faculties, was that what are the five to ten topics from each subspecialty which a postgraduate should know? And you people should also ask yourself this question and from each subspecialty primarily prepare those five to ten top topics which a postgraduate should know okay i will be listing enlisting those topics so you can always click pictures and make a note of them towards the end of the session i'll be telling you about those topics also the marking scheme is that correct marks will be given four marks incorrect minus one and unattempted questions zero marks if you mark a question for review and if you don't finalize it it will still be counted whether correct or wrong any question which has been marked for review will be counted the surgical group has their exam on 13th november in the afternoon shift 
Now, this is the main uh, focus of today's uh, session regarding how to prepare and how can marrow be of help to all of you. And this is an interactive session, so I'll be happy if you people post your queries in the chat box. I'll be happy to answer your question. For me, uh, I think so we have to go back to the basics and that is the go way to prepare. And uh, board, instead of uh, making you a master of one subspecialty, they want you to be the jack of all trades and know some portions of each subspecialty with general surgery being the main thrust. And of course, uh, the two main books which you need to focus on will be Bailey and the latest uh, Sibiston, which has been released a few months back. These would be the two go-to books from which majority of the questions will be framed. Now, regarding marrow initiatives, those who are a part of the marrow SS uh, group or those who are planning to join, the initiatives which we have taken, which will help you out during your preparation over the next uh, two and a half months, A, we have given anyone who is joining the super speciality course will also be given access to the marrow pearls and to the marrow question bank, especially the surgery question bank. And how does this help you? This helps you because these pearls which have been made have been made from Bailey and latest Sebastian. So a quick revision of these pearls will help you reinforce the general surgery component uh, aspects which are required for the exam. And you can revise these pearls while you are in your wards, while you are working. You can revise them any time. So they will be a ready reckoner for you. And all you need to do to access these pearls, you need to click on the top, on the three lines which appear on the top left-hand corner uh, of your screen. And you choose edition five, choose edition five. And that's where you can access the pearls and the question bank. Now, the current marrow surgery question bank has more than 1,000 questions which have been framed. Actually, the team has gone through each and every line of Bailey and have framed questions from that. And latest Sebastian questions are also being added. Okay, So these are two additions which are there. I would strongly urge you to use the pearls and the Q bank as they'll be very high yield for the NEAT exam. The other initiatives which we are taking are that we are adding two national mocks before the exam. You'll have two national mocks. And each week, there will be a 150 question test, which will be based on Bailey and Sebastian. Each week, uh, this test is going to become live on the Maro app and you can appear for it. You will also be able to compare your performance vis-a-vis -vis other students who are appearing for the exam. Now, um, I've asked the rest of the faculty to take Zoom sessions where they will be primarily focusing on those topics which you should know from the subspecialty aspect, which are required at the PG level. Okay, So these regular Zoom sessions, you will be informed and these Zoom sessions will be open for all, not only those who are part of the Marrow app, but they'll be open for all. TNDs regarding general topics and Sebastian updates, I'm already in the process of recording it. Three of them have already been made live on the app. And in the coming week, few more will be made live. So we will cover up each and every aspect of Sebastian and we will help you with that. Plus, we are starting with a dedicated YouTube channel uh, for super specialty candidates where you can ask your queries. So if I were you and uh, this was the bomb which was dropped on me, my target would be that September end, I would want to revise Bailey again. And uh, if you have access to the Marrow videos, I want you to watch my Mario, Marrow general surgery videos at 2x. Now the Marrow general surgery videos, the videos which I have covered, they have end to end Bailey information. So Bailey has been completely covered um, and this you can ask any student who's preparing for the NEAT exam. 
regarding the subsistence updates that i am adding separately because uh, adding them in the existing videos would make it slightly confusing so in the form of test and discussions these important updates from subsistence are being added separately plus like i told you the pearls are being updated with subsistence updates so do go through these points and that would be helpful so september end your target should be that you should uh, revise bailey and one way to go about it is either read bailey or you can watch the marrow videos at 2x my videos there are around six, uh, 60 modules which are there you can easily watch them at 2x and finish them in 10 to 12 days october should be when you should be revising bailey and this revision can happen with the tests which we've curated for you and the surgery q bank plus the subsistence update tnds you can start watching do do attend all the zoom sessions which will be organized as they will be very high yielding for you sub specialty these are the basic topics which we want you to focus and like i told you i asked a very simple question from each faculty member the question was that which are the 5 to 10 topics which a post graduate should know from that sub specialty so from upper gi from upper gi the topics are achalasia esophageal cancers gerd gastric cancer gist and upper gi hemorrhage these are the topics which any post graduate should know the management of cancers and the and management of upper gi hemorrhage is very important you need to understand that uh, the post graduate exam the neat pg exam primarily focuses on diagnosis right and investigations but at the super speciality level questions will be more directed towards the management aspect so for each one you should be well versed with the management and upper gi it is good to read it from subsistence you gi is good in subsistence you can utilize subsistence and that should be good enough information for your neat exam lower gi the topics are carcinoma colon obstruction familial adenomatous polyposis coli syndrome hntcc diverticulosis dendritic ischemia these are the ones which you should know about in addition to lower gi hemorrhage from lower gi topics neurosurgery neurosurgery the main thrust should be on neurotrauma that is head trauma and brain tumors these would be the two main topics from which questions might be asked in the neat exam head injury is very very important and for all trauma aspects please read the atls manual i have covered all the atls 10th edition updates in the marrow videos so you can go through those as well plastics and burns wound healing wound dressings burns of course is very important skin tumors their management grafts and flaps you definitely get questions from grafts and flaps all the aspects regarding grafts and flaps you should know about cleft lip and cleft palate breast and head and neck reconstructive aspects whether they are reconstructive aspects in the form of flaps or implants you should know about these from plastic surgery urology uh, renal stones all the cancers so renal cancer bladder cancer prostate cancer the their management their work up you should know genetics is another component which is asked in the super speciality exam so the genetics of cancers is extremely important then bph bph management all the aspects regarding turp these also you should be aware for your exam hypospadias undescended testes these are also topics which are asked commonly from the hepatobiliary system hepatobiliary system liver anatomy is very important so you should know about liver anatomy so liver anatomy you should know and you should know about liver tumors and liver abscesses these are uh, from liver from gall bladder gall stones are extremely important uh, cbd stones gall stones 
you should also know about gallbladder cancer pancreatic cancer and pancreatitis management is extremely important endocrine surgery so endocrine surgery breast surgery i have covered in great detail and from the 150 questions you should expect at least 15 or 10 to 15 odd questions to be from endocrine surgery so listen to my videos regarding breast thyroid definitely go through schwartz so for thyroid schwartz is very important the question bank in the surgery module in mcq in the marrow mcq module uh, for thyroid has predominantly been prepared from shorts so do solve those questions as well okay so these were some of the important topics um, any questions which you people have uh, please do write them in the chat box i'll be happy to address your uh, questions uh, there was one question which was posted earlier that are the general surgery videos uh, in the marrow module sufficient for the neat exam well um, for the last two three years a lot of postgraduates have also been seeing my general surgery videos in marrow and they've not faced trouble attempting the general surgery part of the mch exam so bailey has entirely been covered so you can rely on the videos for bailey sebastian updates i've already told you i'll be recording a series of tests and discussions where only sebastian updates will be the focus two of them are already live and at least four to five more will become live in the next seven to ten days okay now as i was saying freshers versus old graduates uh, so i know there is a dilemma especially those who have been preparing for a couple of years uh, whether to focus on neat or to continue focusing on the central institute exams well my advice here is that if if you got a reasonable rank in a central institute exam or if you had an interview call there but couldn't make it last time my suggestion would be to would be to primarily focus on the central institutes and try to crack them because uh, to change the strategy just two months before can be a bit dicey but for fresh graduates this is a great opportunity for all of you to crack the neat exam so you're all in the next two or three months and some of you will be surprised that you can get a great rank in neat and get the subspecialty of your choice so kartik is asking i have my all my ug notes which uh, uh, had been which he had made after listening to my classes should i read those or see the new videos so kartik my recommendation would be that you watch the new videos because uh, when you were a ug now you're a post grad you finish your post grad so those ug notes were of very old edition and a lot of changes have been made so my advice would be to watch the marrow videos at 2x it will not take more than 9 or 10 days even if you spend 6 hours 5 to 6 hours every day so watch the latest videos that would cover up entire bailey and parts of sebastian and watch the tnds which are sebastian specific okay Now, another question which was posted was that in marrow we are giving access to all the subspecialties rather than a single subspecialty. So uh, the reasoning behind that was that you should be uh, a lot of uh, postgraduates are also using the app, so they should have access to everything. Plus, now I think so with the new pattern, you need to know the basic topics of each subspecialty. You need to be the jack of all uh, specialties now, jack of all trades. So. Uh, you will have access to all the subspecialties also in marrow app and i've already listed out the important topics from each subspecialty so you can watch them and you can have an edge over other people the uh, faculty members will also be recording a video regarding these important topics and the basic tnd which you require for the general surgery need for the neat aspect Any other questions? Uh,
also we are in the process of starting a facebook or a telegram group so uh, whatever your preference is uh, you can write down in the chat box whether you want a facebook group or a telegram group where daily questions will be posted and all the maro faculties will be there and you can easily access them and ask your doubts as well now maro has already covered almost 350 hours of super specialty content is there so um, it will be helpful the filtered out content will be useful for the neat exam but those who are still preparing for the central institute exam you can even go in depth and prepare that specialty yes mohammad the the videos are the same because they cover everything of bailey a lot of general surgery questions asked in your super specialty exam are from bailey in fact the majority will be from there and i have covered each and every aspect of 27th edition the sebastian updates i am recording separately because the book came out recently i am recording them as separate tnds which you will have access to so you can listen to those specific tnds and get to know the sebastian updates as well okay vanaja is asking apart from gastro part which chapters would you uh, recommend reading for general sebastian so good question so from uh, sebastian i would strongly recommend that you read the wound healing part the general aspects shock has very well the chapter on shock is excellent in sebastian definitely go through that the newer modalities that is mvos how to monitor mvos mvos has increased in which shock decreased in which shock so all these have been explained beautifully in sebastian git uh you should do from sebastian the sub specialty chapters given later on you should definitely read them from sebastian breast is given very well in sebastian for thyroid i usually prefer schwartz over sebastian uh, but sebastian also has given a good amount of information rohan is asking uh, so hi sir each topic wise question expected from each super special so there will be questions from each super specialty the main focus will be general surgery but the super specialty questions will be at the level of the pg exit exam that means uh, the level which they require from a third year post graduate by the time they are finishing Karthik is saying, "What about Q bank? Is it segregated according to specialty or mixed one? And what about GTs? So the Q bank currently is uh, has been arranged specialty and chapter wise in the Mara Q bank. The GTs will be mixed GTs. They will be all specialty GTs. So they will be like your mock tests which you are doing uh, with detailed explanation and a lot of subsequent updates will be covered there as well." the q bank is chapter uh, is been segregated chapter wise look shrinivas bailey you have to read uh, barring trauma trauma you should read from the atls manual and uh, so remove the ortho chapters and the trauma chapters of bailey rest bailey you need to read if you have time read it if you don't have time you watch my videos on 2x they cover all the aspects of bailey for subistan updates i doubt that you people will be able to read sebastian now and then revise it so uh, you can rely on the tnds which we are creating if you want to read you definitely read the uh, the initial chapters on wound healing burns uh, you read about shock git breast these you should definitely read from sebastian there is one new chapter which has been added in this latest sebastian that is regarding fetal surgery right and you should definitely read that chapter on fetal surgery there are certain advancements which have been mentioned there which are potential questions for your exam rohan they haven't highlighted uh, what age will be there for each sub specialty it will be a mixed bag and uh, you can be in for some surprises as well where probably you in one this year you might have more question plastic 
next year you might have more questions from gi so very difficult to predict uh, how what will be the weightage right ctvs uh, ctvs the important topics regarding ctvs will be aneurysms and um, that that is uh, aneurysms dissection these would be the main and you should know the basic components about cabg and heart transplant uh, sebastian the vascular surgery system is being given reasonably well so you can read uh, vascular from sebastian Bailey also has given very detailed uh, vascular system. All three chapters, arterial, venous, and lymphatic, have been given very well in Bailey. So don't skip that. Okay. Anubhav is saying, uh, in controversy, should we follow what Bailey says or we follow Sebastian? Well, um, I, I would uh, say Bailey, but again, you know, it is the examiner's wish what reference is he using. Um, I would uh, go with Bailey. Okay, Bhushan is saying, how do we prepare for next year NEET SS using Marrow? So next year NEET SS, uh, your focus will be primarily on the general surgery components. So watch the videos. The videos uh, will be updated after this exam uh, based on what changes are there. Q bank is already being ad added, uh, so you do keep on doing the Q bank. If you have a particular specialty in mind, do watch the specialty videos because you have the Central Institute exams for which you can appear as well. Again, this webinar is primarily for the surgery group uh, medicine. I'm sure Dr. Rakesh and his team will reach out to all of you and share the important topics which you should focus on. Ashika, if you're in second year uh, and you want to prepare for NEET SS, my advice would just be to read standard textbooks right now. Don't uh, go into too many MCQs. Read standard textbooks, build good concepts. That should be the way to go forward. Yes, uh, one more thing which I want to highlight is recent advances. So recent advances, uh, there is a separate book which comes out. Definitely go through those recent advancements and the trials which are there. Some bit of general surgery related trials will be asked in the exam. So you should know the basic trials also. And also um, eighth AJCC classification for all the major cancers, eighth AJCC classification changes which are there. This I have highlighted in my marrow videos. You should definitely focus on those AJCC changes, uh, especially breast, head and neck, colorectal, lung, pancreas. These you should uh, look at. Regarding medicine SS, I guess Dr. Rakesh's video will be uploaded uh, tomorrow uh, where he'll highlight how to go about preparing for it. Look, with the two months to go, I doubt that you can read uh, uh, the textbooks uh, cover to cover provided. I mean, if you've read them previously, yes, you can. Sebastian is a new book which has come out, so uh, it will be very difficult for you to read cover to cover, so focus on important aspects. Uh, Bailey, you try to read uh, if you get time. Uh, Dhawal is saying this year DNB 2018 batch is eligible because tenure ends in October 2021. Yes. So if your tenure ends by November, so they've written that uh, if you are a recognized postgraduate or you get your provisional pass certificate or equivalent of recognized qualification by 30th November, then you are eligible for the exam. So asthma, uh, whether one-liners or uh, case scenarios, uh, difficult to say, but because the pattern has been changed at a short uh, uh, duration with a short notice period, I think so more will be one-liners and core theoretical questions. There might be a few clinical scenarios which might focus on management aspect, 
but uh, a lot of theoretical aspects will be asked. Um, Mohammad, I've already enlisted the important topics of uh, each subspecialty. What we'll do is we'll prepare a comprehensive list of these uh, topics and uh, we will circulate the PDF. Uh, uh, we will put it on the, one of the Marrow blogs and you people can download it from there. So Karthik, uh, uh, recent advances, foreign or Indian author, I what I would do is uh, what I usually used to do was that I used to skim through the contents of both the foreign and the Indian author recent advances. And once I used to know the contents, then I used to uh, decide where to read those topics from. Uh, so skim through the topics and then take a call uh, whether you want to read it from that book or if you read it from the textbook, that will be sufficient. Head and neck oncology. So Shraddha, you've asked a very good question. So those who are primarily preparing for head and neck oncology, you have to appear with the ENT group. Your exam will be with the ENT primary feeder, right? So uh, your primary feeder specialty is ENT and your exam is on 14th. And uh, of course, with ENT being the primary specialty, you would need to read detailed ENT from their standard textbook and uh, also know some bit of uh, general surgery aspects regarding head and neck surgery, know the reconstructive aspects from plastic surgery. So those would be the things which you would need to focus on. Rahul, uh, AIMS SS pattern, I doubt uh, that uh, they haven't released any such notice. I doubt that AIMS or the Central Institute will change their pattern. So again, I think so, a game changer, uh, you know, you can... Uh, discuss this with me after the exam a game changer will be the marrow pearls marrow pearls have been very thoroughly curated where all the important tables from sabiston and bailey have been added and they've covered all the recent advancements as well so definitely access the pearls to access the pearls you need to go in the uh, you need to go in the settings and move to edition 5 and you can access the surgery pearls there and Advise them two or three times, it will be a ready reckoner for you as well for the exam. Yes, Vishnu, I have highlighted the general surgery which I have covered is more than enough as it covers entire Bailey. I have already started regarding Sebastian update TNDs. Two of them have been released. Three to four more will be released in the next seven to ten days. So all the Sebastian updates I will cover in the form of TNDs and the GTs which we are providing to you weekly will also cover them. So yes, to answer your question, the general surgery videos covered by me are sufficient for your SS exam. Of course, go through Sebastian, it will be helpful in residency. So, uh, especially those who've been preparing for a subspecialty based exam for the last few years, uh, it's a very difficult call which you need to take whether to continue preparing for the central institutes and laying more stress on uh, the specialty aspects or you know, change course and start reading more general surgery comp and focus on need. So, um, yeah, it's a difficult call, but you need to take it quickly and then streamline your preparation. One of the reasons why this change has been made is that because uh, they were seeing that a lot of seats were going vacant. And with this, um, one person gets access to all the subspecialties. So those people who are not very inclined on... Uh, doing one only or have two or three specialties in mind, this exam uh, will be beneficial for you. 
Amit Medicine, Dr. Rakesh is going to release a video which will be updated tomorrow. Uh, for surgical gastroenterology, Sebastian. General So Vishnu, the general surgery videos, QBank is the same, but if you have access to the SS part, you will not have access to the weekly SS. The you will not have access to these weekly tests which we are organizing, which are based on Bailey and Sebastian updates. And the tests and discussions, which will be Sebastian, which my new videos are coming out, you will not have access to them if you don't have access to the uh, SS app. So I think so. I've answered most of the questions you people have asked. Uh, I know it's um, it was a shocker for everyone, but uh, it is time to uh, refocus, replan, and then to execute that plan over the next two to two and a half months. All of us are there uh, to help you out. If you have any queries, you can always reach out to me on my Instagram ID that is Left Handed Surgeon, or um, you know you can send me an email on rohankhandelwal at gmail dot com. Um, I will reply back. Um, Maro is uh, going to create a dedicated YouTube channel for super specialties and a Facebook or Telegram group. You will be intimated and this will be free for all. So you can ask your queries uh, there as well. But uh, um, I think so. Let's. It, it's time that we look at the change in pattern as an opportunity and try to make the most out of it. So Karthik, if you take access to the marrow SS surgery plan, you will automatically get access to the Q bank and the pearls as well. We are giving a three month access to the Q bank and the pearls. For that, you need to take the super specialty surgery access. All right. Thank you, everyone. If you have any further questions, uh, you can message me on my Instagram ID or just drop a comment below this uh, video and I'll reply back to your queries. The important top is we will make that list and we will put it up uh, at a place and we'll share the link in the comment section. You can download the important topics from there. All the best. Thank you.